the lecture part of lesson 1.4 mathematical induction and basically mathematical induction can be derived as a consequence of axioms that we saw in the beginning of the course section 1.1 so the definition of mathematical induction let's say we have a set s and set s is of numbers said to be inductive so we're saying set s is inductive if there are two conditions that need to be met one is it has one as an element in the set s and two b we have x plus one so in other words whatever number we have let's say five to have a number that follows after it for every element in that set in set s whenever x also has to be an element in set s as well okay an example of that is where we have the set of all real numbers is inductive is a set of all rational numbers. Rational numbers meaning like fractions, right? Or decimals that end or repeat. So that's one set. The set of all integers is another. It's where we have positive and negative and zero are also inductive. Where we have one, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, and so on. We have negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and so on. Um, whereas fractions would be like oh, 1 half, 1 half plus 1 is 1 and 1 half, 1 half plus 2, 1, 1 and 1 half is 2 and a half, and so on. Not inductive, a not inductive set is a collection of real numbers between 0 and 10, for example. Since it satisfies condition A, where it has 1 in it, but not condition B, because we don't, we have 10, but we don't have 10 plus 1. So, therefore, this set from 0 to 10 is not an inductive set. So, Therefore, um, natural numbers or counting numbers of all, so the, the set of n or natural numbers is an inductive set because we have 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and it goes on. Okay, so let's take a look at proof for that. Theorem 1.9, set of natural numbers, all natural numbers, is an inductive set. Since S is an inductive set, we can say natural numbers is a subset of set S. So we want to prove that. So we must show that our natural numbers set n has properties of a and b where it had one is an element in, set, in the natural numbers and x plus one is also an element in natural numbers so properties of an inductive set okay first we say that the set of all natural numbers is an inductive set can okay, we go ahead and make that claim and we want to prove that the set of natural numbers has properties A and B to be inductive, an inductive set. Since the set of natural numbers start with 1, because it's counting numbers, right? Natural numbers, counting numbers, starts with 1. Then property A holds. 1 is an element in the natural numbers, or the set of natural numbers. Okay, so let's suppose that we say all right we're going to propose that we have this element k 
and k is an element in our natural number set of natural numbers. So we can say natural numbers, set of natural numbers, is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1, and so on, it's 3, dot, 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 k, some number k further on down, it could be 100, could be 1,000, who knows, comma, and then continues on from there. Okay. So since, since set the set of natural numbers is an inductive set, we're saying it's an inductive set, then K is an element if, of an inductive set S because we're saying that natural numbers is an inductive set, and that's in natural numbers. K and K is in the natural numbers. We can say that, and we're saying that the natural numbers is a subset of set S, then we can say that K is also an inductive set in inductive set S. Since K is an element in inductive set S, then by definition of the induction, then we also have K plus one because K is an inductive set, it has to have one, it has to have K, any number X, instead of X, we're using K this time. So, by definition, you have to have one in, in the set, and you have to have X plus one. Well, we're using K in replace of X. So, that means if we have K, and K is an, an element in an inductive set, then we also have to have a k plus 1 is also an element of every inductive set. And the, the set that we're using as an example is natural numbers, but it could be other sets as well. Since our nat set of natural numbers is also an inductive set, then k plus 1 has to be an element in our set of natural numbers. Hence, we can say our set of natural numbers holds properties A, one is an element in set N, and B, K plus one is an element in our natural numbers, set of natural numbers when K is an element of N. Okay, so that's our proof for that. And so we're gonna look at um, theorem 1.10. The principle of mathematical induction um, move this over a little bit. The principle of mathematical induction if set S is an inductive set of our set of natural numbers then S is a subset of N, and N is a subset of S, so therefore S and N, set S and set of natural numbers is equal. Okay, our proof to that, since um, set S, we're saying set S is an inductive set, is an inductive set, then by definition, we also know now that our set of natural numbers that is contained in set S. So we said before that N is a subset of set S. Also, since S con consists of all natural numbers, then set S is, con is also contained in set in natural numbers. So we're saying N is a subset of set S and set S is a subset of natural numbers. I'm trying to squeeze in natural numbers in there. Okay, so therefore set S is equal to natural numbers. Okay, and so 
that's all for the lecture part. If you're not really understanding this, it'll make a lot more sense when we get to the problems.